Hi everyone, this is 31 Pockets, and I'd like to welcome everyone to part number one of my D610 CPU and memory upgrade video. Now here's our Dell 610 laptop. Now this upgrade for the CPU and the memory is only to upgrade it. It's not for a repair. If you have a broken uh, D610, this isn't going to help you only unless you have a, a bad CPU or piece of memory in the computer. Um, there could be all kinds of other different types of problems with that. Now this is only just to speed up and make your older Dell 610 a little bit more snappier and it'll make it so it plays videos a little bit more smoother. That's the only thing that this um, CPU upgrade is going to do along with the memory. Now we're going to take our Dell 610, we're going to pull up our system properties. We're going to go to my computer and then view system information and then you can see right now we have our 1.6 gigahertz standard CPU. Now I upgraded the memory about a year ago. Um, we're going to, it has one gig and we're going to go all the way to the two gig. The next part in the video we're going to be going online and I'm going to show you guys how I get some of the stuff, um, the best pricing and where the stuff is located and how to find it. For our example, to find this CPU, this fastest CPU for our Dell 610 upgrade, it's fairly easy to do. We're going to go to, you're going to log into your eBay account and then we're going to go up and click, click on advanced search and then we're going to click on type in to the search. Now the code name for this is SL7SL. Now we have to have that in there. That's the exact code of our CPU that we need to reference in to fit the Dell 610 latitude exactly. So we're going to go down to computer and, and, and networking, click search, and then it brings up we can see the different ones that are up there um, they their average price is about thirty five dollars and sometimes you can pick them up for uh, anywhere from eighteen to, to twenty five dollars um, but there's a few on here starting looks like we've got one that's starting at ninety nine cents or a dollar ninety-nine. No, we've got one here for ninety-nine cents. So, so anyways, that's basically what it is. And this is our Intel Pentium M seven seventy two point one three gigahertz, and it's five thirty-three megahertz. At uh, its catch is two MB, and it's for laptops. And it's a CPU and our code for the the CPU is SL7SL we want to make sure we have that it's got to be that exact number to upgrade the Dell 610 to its fastest capacity so we're going to go ahead and pick one of these next and then we'll wait and as soon as we get it in we'll put it in okay now to find our memory it's fairly easy we're just going to go to um, Newegg.com for our example and we're going to go and click um, computer hardware and we're going to go down and locate memory and then we're going to go over to the left and then we're going to go and click laptop memory and then we're going to type in our PC2 and it's 4200 now I like to use the G skill because um, they usually have the best price and the code for that is F2 dash 4200 P H U 
two. And then we're going to click our go to search. And we can get, um, if you have a Dell 610 that came originally with its 512, if you put the CPU in, um, the Centrino 2.13, you're going to want to go with the full amount that you can put in possibly, and that is the 2 gigs. And you can get a dual pack kit for $34.99. I think there's like, it says free shipping here, but I'm not positive. You can, even if you get the free shipping, you can sometimes add $2 and they speed up the order. Um, but anyways, um, this is the memory right here that you're going to want to get. If you want to get a real good deal and get the fairly good uh, memory for your uh, laptop. Now I just need the one piece of memory. I already have one gig in my 610 and separated it's 1690. I'm going to go ahead and order this and get it coming in so we can finish up this computer. Okay we did get our memory and our CPU in and I'm going to take a couple quick high definition photos and throw them in the video so you guys can see them a little bit more clear and then we're going to get started with um, breaking down our computer next now here's some of the tools we're going to be needing for the CPU and memory upgrade on our Dell 610 and first up we have a small very fine standard screwdriver, a small Phillips head, and a small standard screwdriver along with our thermal paste. Now before we get started the first thing we want to do is remove our battery which is right here and we're going to just pull up on this lever and it lifts right out. And to start with we're going to fold down our screen and then there's a little notch here in this corner, let me see if I can zoom in on it, where we're going to stick our small screwdriver that's right there. And we're going to pry up in this little notch that's right here, we're going to pry up a little bit and get it started breaking it loose a little bit. Now this is plastic, we have to be careful with it and we want to try and pull it up evenly all at the same time. I'll back off the zoom a little bit so you guys can see it. I'll pull this off. It's fairly simple. Now the next thing we're going to do is remove our keypad and we have two screws. There's one located right here and one right here and I'll see if I can zoom in a little bit so you guys can see them a little bit better but one's right there and then the other one is over here so we're going to start to take the screws out there we're going to need our small Phillips head screwdriver for that and we don't want to lose these screws so we're going to put those right off to the side that takes care of one And that takes care of the second one and then we're gonna pick up a little bit on the back side towards the screen and kind of slide it back now there's little pegs that line it up underneath the lower bezel and we want to just kind of slide it up and then once we break it loose then we're gonna now that we got the keypad loose we're gonna go underneath here carefully and we've got this um, blue piece of plastic on the end of this our receptacle and we're going to unplug it to take out our keypad. Now we're just going to carefully pull that out and now we're going to pull back our keypad and put it off to the side. 
Now that gives us access to get to our our CPU is right here it's underneath this point and here's our memory but the first thing we're going to start with is to remove the CPU next. Now this is where we need our Phillips head screwdriver to come into play and we've got our three screws right here and right there. We have to carefully lift up our wire harness for our screen and undo our heat sink. Now the screws have little springs on the bottom they're not going to fall apart or fall down. It keeps them locked together when we lift this out. We have to go little bits at a time until we get it out, all the way out and disconnected. Now we're going to lift out the heat sink. That, now that we have it unscrewed, you have to do that carefully because we have that conduit wire for the screen in the way. We have to lift that out. like so and we'll have to clean off the thermal paste that's underneath here want to make sure you have plenty of paper towels around when you're doing when you're doing this kind of work now we're going to remove our CPU and the way we do that now this has a 478 socket in the motherboard and we're going to take our standard screwdriver and we have one little like latch at this point and we're going to take and turn this and this will release the pressure on our electrodes going down into the motherboard and we're just going to lift out our CPU and we can see the bottom of it and uh, I'll take a, a quick um, photo of the old CPU when we um, finish up and, and put that in the video. Now here's our Centrino 2.13 gigahertz CPU that we're going to install and we always want to make sure we line up. Now this is a 478 socket and we have this one point that's in the corner and it's got to correspond into our motherboard which is right see if I can zoom in on it so you guys can see it it's right in that one corner where that correspondence is going to match and line this up before we install it we always want to make sure it's set so I've got the once I flip this back now it's going to match into that one corner and on the back side we can see it's got like a little marker at this point it has like a little arrow on it where you can see to line it up and and make sure it matches up let's see if I can zoom in on this a little bit clearer on the numbers so you guys can see it well we're starting to go out of focus so anyway that's that's how that's going to go in we've got our marker lined up in the corner pointing at the corner where it needs to point and it should just go over and fall into place. Once it falls into place, then we're going to take our screwdriver and this will put pressure back on the electrodes coming out of the CPU going into the motherboard. This will tighten up the connection. And that's it, just one twist with a screwdriver. Now it's locked into place, it can't move.